Hello everyone, my name is Judy, and welcome to Fazbear's Fright Storage. This is a game from like four years ago. It's uh... It's alright, but I mean, the main purpose of playing this... Uh... Is to get into the next game, which is Fazbear's Entertain Fazbear Entertainment Storage. Which is a much better game that was made this year, like a couple days ago. <laughs> so, yeah, let's uh, let's try this. I'm not gonna get too. I'm not gonna get too far into this, mainly because I just want to play the other one. Ugh. It's like your mouse down to use your camera, flick it right to use the second monitor. You can Hello. also use S and Allow me essence. to introduce myself. My name is Michael. I used to be the technician at Freddy's and was the one who contacted the owners of Fazbear's Fright after the place burned down. Trust me, the equipment you're using right now is much more stable and much less likely to catch fire. Probably. Okay. Anyways, the building that you're currently in is a Fazbear storage building. Is Basically, when a character trip? was scrapped, it was sent here to be used for parts, assuming its parts were still usable. That's why all the animatronics we found in the building were partially dismantled. I'm still working on repairing them, so not all of them are working yet. I'll keep working on them as the week goes on. Now, we're unsure whether or not this will be the final building that the horror attraction takes place in, but while we're still searching for a new location, we need you to keep an eye on these robots. So, allow me to give you a rundown of what to expect. As you saw last time, the animatronics tend to wander. Fazbear Entertainment was aware of this, so a security system was already installed. You have a security surveillance tablet. Oh my like god, does this guy time, ever shut except up? Except this one isn't mounted to the wall. You can use this to monitor the this? security cameras mounted throughout the building. If the cameras turn to static, like don't worry, they'll be online again shortly. The next thing you should know about is what to do when Freddy and his friends get foot. a little bit too close for comfort. To your right, you have a second tablet that allows you to activate and deactivate three heaters, one for each entrance to the room you're in. If somebody is, let's say, on your right, turn on the right heater. The animatronics are programmed to avoid temperatures hot enough to cause them to overheat and will leave. Once they leave, you can turn the heater off again. Simple enough. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, why can't I leave the heaters on the whole time? There's yeah. two reasons. One, your room would become uncomfortably hot and your legs would start sticking to your chair. Two, Mangle. Mangle is that pink and white fox that you can see in the back room with the other characters. Yep. Now, Mangle was originally in a room called the Kid's Cove, which is where all the toddlers would be. To help okay. keep track of them, Mangle was given thermal imaging. I know this because, well, I was the one who originally installed it. Now, that creates a problem since heat is your main method of defense. If you leave the heaters on for too long, Mangle will start crawling through How the air vent connected to your office. You don't want that, so use the heater sparingly. The last thing I need to go over is the animatronic from the last location, Spring Bonnie. It survived the fire, most of it at least, so it's in the building with you now. The problem is, since this animatronic is much older than the other, how does nobody notice there's a dead corpse in this, this guy? Means that you can use At all. all you want how does nobody notice button? that there's a fucking corpse in this guy? To for this, we've installed a button that lets you administer a controlled shock into whatever room you choose. It's too weak to affect the others, but it should work on him. So, to recap, use the heaters if somebody comes near, don't use them long enough for Mangle to start moving, and shock Spring Bonnie to get him to stay away. I think that's everything. See you tomorrow. This is... Admittedly, a pretty creepy shot for a character. What do I do again with the shocking thing? I wasn't really listening to him. Do I use the shock on him? She's missing a hand, and her hand's right here. Why not just attach it? Same with his, like, ear. Why not just attach it? Hey, buddy. I think for uh, feet or something. That was a horrible joke. I am not on my A game right now.
Yeah, it's you who I need to shock. Okay. Makes sense. The shock thing doesn't take too long to come back, but... I think FNAF dude did a good job by making it so that the cameras don't use power, so that, you know, you're more likely to use them, because in FNAF 1 you don't want to use the camera because it takes up power. I still to this day don't really get the limited power thing. I'll go through night one and then be done because this is like really boring. <laughs> Buddy. Why is one of your pupils bigger than the other? He's fast. He just ran right back to the beginning. Goddamn. <laughs> this game is boring as shit. Goddamn.
that's it. That's this game. <laughs> I'm happy this person made a new game that I hope is better. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> so yeah, that was um, that was Fazbear Fright Storage. Now we're actually gonna go on to uh, Fazbear Entertainment Storage. Uh, there was a file he he said to read. Uh, read before I'm playing important TXT. Important. This game takes a while to open after clicking the exe. Don't open it more than once. Trust me on this. Just wait a bit, and the game will pop up. If issues with launching slash running the game persist, as the last resort, open the options that any file and to both create textures on demand and alternate sync method to one instead of zero. Know that this may cause instability and crashes and blah, blah, blah. Headphones recommended, important key bindings, alt is toggle full screen and hold escape is quit at any time. Other notes, calls can be made at any time. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, the person who made this said that uh, this is just gonna take a while to open. That shouldn't be that bad, though. It's open now. Okay. Much better. Much better looking. Like immediately, way better looking. Let me move my uh, camera so you can see that. That's really cool. I guess, point this way, I guess, but that's really cool. Uh, yeah, let's... Okay, what are the, in the options? Uh, office Perspective Shader Enabled. Sure. Yeah, this looks good. Like, ten times better. Alright. Night one. Okay. We got a loading screen. Okay. Press and hold control on either entrance. Press and hold, hold control or click... If you're hearing this message, I wanted to thank you again for taking this job. I needed this position filled on very short notice, and your application couldn't have been more perfectly timed. My name is Henry, and like I informed you earlier, you will be receiving pre-recorded messages from me whenever you start a new shift. These messages will be used to help guide you through the week, or at least until you get your bearings. The building you're currently in is a storage facility which holds relics from a once popular children's pizzeria chain. The last pizzerias in this chain have been closed for a while now, and most of the objects in this building are even older than that, so this place has gone unwatched for quite some time. Regardless, all the equipment inside the building should still be suitably functional. Now, I'm afraid this job won't be as simple as sitting around in your office and checking cameras. This building houses several decommissioned animatronic animals that once entertained children in those aforementioned pizzerias. Despite all the money that was poured into them, they were scrapped due to perceived malfunctions. I had my gripes about this choice, but regardless, they have been stored here for a while now. For most of that time, they've been gathering dust. However, lately, I've been seeing signs of activity inside the building. I have reason to believe that someone has been tampering with the decommissioned animatronics and is attempting to reactivate them. Now, I don't think you'll have to worry about encountering whoever has been tampering with the animatronics during your shift. You should be more worried about the animatronics themselves. Hmm. These animatronics were designed to freely walk around the building and entertain guests. And if someone has been actively tampering with them, it's likely that they'll be walking around the building during your shift. Now, I'm not sure what changes have been made to their AI, and that means I don't know how they'll react to the side of you. With that in mind, we should prevent them from reaching you. You have a few tools at your disposal to help make it through your shift. You have been provided a camera panel that lets you remotely access all the building's cameras. Use these cameras to keep an eye on the animatronics and ensure none of them are moving. 
there is a separate set of cameras placed inside the air vents of the building. In your office, to your right, is a building status panel. You can use this to stay aware of the current status of the building's various systems. Most important is the building's power. Your power supply is limited and is consumed by several systems in the building. Your cameras do not consume additional power as they run on a separate unrestricted supply. Once the building's power supply reaches critical levels, several systems will shut down, such as the building's lights. With this in mind, you have also been provided with a flashlight to help illuminate the dark corners of your office. Your flashlight has its own separate battery, which is obviously unaffected by the building's power. In addition, you have been provided with a mask of one of the pizzeria's mascots. The animatronics in this building were once outfitted with advanced facial recognition software. If they get close enough to see you, you should keep them from recognizing you as human. Damn, now, I'm Daniel. not sure if the facial recognition is still functional on each oh, of the animatronics, oh. and it's not impossible that the mask won't work on any of them. But regardless, Damn, many of them have their old facial recognition software still Damn. in use. The mask should protect you from them. Assuming the mask doesn't work, you have a few other options to protect yourself. You have an air vent that runs through your office. In the event that something undesirable were to crawl through it, you can close its opening to your office using a button. Keeping this closed does drain power, so don't leave it shut longer than you need to. I know it's a fairly makeshift solution, but I only had so much time to install it before your first shift. This should be all the information you need for your first night. Remember, your shift ends at 6, and at that point, you are expected to leave. Do not stay any longer than you need to. I'll have another message for you recorded before your next shift. Damn, End message. End message. Uh, where'd the hose at? Hey, Bonnie. Nope. Just gonna leave that closed. I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Ooh. Another really cool animation on the screen that you uh, can see barely any of. The face, anyway. What if I, um... There you go. It's fixed. <laughs> that was such a fucking dumb joke. <laughs> Alright, yeah. This is pretty cool. This is a good game.
Congratulations on completing your first shift. However, if I am correct in my assumption that these animatronics are being actively tampered with, I'm afraid your job is likely to increase in difficulty as the week continues. I will do my best to slowly introduce you to your responsibilities here, so as not to overwhelm you. I'd like to take this moment to remind you about the functionality of this building's power. In the event that you encounter a building-wide power outage, do not assume that you are defenseless. Your care. Right, he's out. God damn. Wow, you're, uh, you're something. <laughs> fat as shit, man. Holy shit, you're, like, way fatter than you were in, like, the other game. Should probably keep the camera on him, but I don't know, actually. So I think he's gonna go into this door right here. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? I'm just gonna play music and not explain the music. Cool, okay. You can see that he's really advanced in uh and how to make games. Because, like, holy shit, this is, like, ten times better. So you're going to hop into this vent right here, I guess. Hey, buddy. Yeah, apparently there's, like, a, a vent opening in this room for some unbeknownst reason to me. You're not moving. a.m.? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm really worried about Freddy here, but I guess I should be more worried about Bonnie. He's way more active. Freddy just kind of like is there. He uses some steady ass cameras. She jumped in the vent. Nope. She kind of just like lays down there. Just like, 
What's up, friend? Okay. Oh, and then you get out here somewhere, don't you? Yeah, you do. But there's no way to get to my office from there. So basically you, in a way, fuck yourself over because then you need to walk all the way back over. Is it going to be Freddy on the screen next? I'm okay with it booting out to the main menu in case you want to like leave the night. Yeah, that's Freddy. That's a fucked up Freddy though. Like, one of his eyes is just like falling out. Let me show you. Yeah, you can see one of his eyes is just kind of like starting to fall out of his head. This is pretty cool though. I like how um the way that they break kind of looks like plastic. I think it's still a little too soft around the, the broken edges, but otherwise it does it does look like broken plastic. I don't think he did a great job at making it look like broken plastic, but he made it look better than whatever Scott would do, where he would kind of like make it blocky, which was weird. You ever notice that in, in all of his like models that are like fucked up in a way, they're all um they're all blocky with the with the fuckery like uh, the uh, spring trap or uh, the withered animatronics or the nightmare ones. They all have like blocky like uh, breakings in their uh, fabric. It's weird. Brightness is all the way up. Night three. Oh! Excuse me. That's a excellent a, a, work uh, these past two nights. That being said, I would like to take this time to warn you about another system listed in your status panel, being the building's temperature. The temperature of the room you're currently in is maintained by three large fans within the ventilation system, which are constantly running. If these fans were to in any way malfunction, the building's temperature would begin to heat up rapidly. You are able to seal access to the fans remotely through your camera panel. Sealing vents will not affect the building's temperature. However, having a vent sealed will drain power. The operational status of all oh. three fans are listed on your status panel at all times. Keep this information in mind. I trust that this new information won't be too much for you to handle. I'll have no, I got this for you tomorrow. Yeah. Good luck. End message. End of transmission. <laughs> uh oh, you're in the hallway now. Oh, okay. Gotta be worried about that. Michael's gonna get in here. And I can't turn off the, the fucking... I can't, like, close a vent. Freddy hasn't come out. Fuck you. Ah, good. Okay. Damn, that is kind of creepy. The fact that her neck is so extended. I'm worried about Mangle. She didn't seem to be moving that much, though.
Hey, buddy. Okay, that's where Boner is. Oh! Fucking balloon boys out? Uh huh, uh huh? Is there someone in there? I can't tell. Is that balloon boy? Holy shit, it's only night two. God damn. Or is it night three? It's night three now, yeah. Hey, blue boy. Baller boy. So you use the flashlight to scare him off. Got it. Fucking hell. Okay. Jesus. Do they stay tangled now from uh from night to night? I'm curious. And who who get makes them go back to the original Ooh, hey, Mangle. So her other eye is gone, which makes sense. She's got the extra head, so she pretty much doesn't look all that much more fucked up. She just kind of has, like, broken off plastic. But... Otherwise, she looks normal. <laughs> I'm busting through these nights. God damn. This message will be brief, as it contains no new information relevant to your nightly duties. Rather, I felt I should inform you that my suspicions about the animatronics being tampered with has been confirmed. However, the exact nature of this tampering is unknown to me. What I do know for sure is that Ghost they trap? have been acting erratically. I've... I've seen this type of behavior before. That was years ago. Even then, I was unable to locate the source. Jeremy? I apologize. I do have an idea of what might be the source of their behavior, but it's not an idea I'm comfortable with. I need you to be watchful for anything unusual tonight. Keep me posted, and good luck. End message. God damn, what is it? It's, still, it's only 1 a.m. Please, leave me alone. It's good that I barely ever have to use the cameras, though.
The music is weird. The music really makes me feel weird. <laughs> I'm not sure why I've been playing a lot of FNAF uh, fan games as of recent, but I like it. They're fun. They're pretty creative. Fuck! What? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, it's the base transfer again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's me again. <laughs> Actually, right now, unable to tell if anything gets into my office. Okay. Jeez. All right. I am blowing through this game, though. Oh, 
puppet. I guess puppets on night five. That's kind of worrying. Congratulations on making it this far. You have exceeded expectations and proven yourself to be capable. I've decided that there is no point in the continued existence of these animatronics. They are beyond salvaging. Wow. What does your shirt say? To see them used for I love Guam. Purpose. And I'm sorry I had not decided to do this sooner. These characters that once meant so much to me are now nothing more than a wound that I've allowed to fester. The fuck? That's Tomorrow a... morning, after your shift ends, I will personally come to the building and disassemble them. You are to leave the building at 6. You will return for a final shift tomorrow, and ensure there is no further activity from their remains. After that shift, you are not to return. This will be my final message to you. Thank you. End message. I'm ignorant. What do you mean, Guam? Guam is a place. It's, um... I mean, it's a, it's a place. It's, uh... It... It's, um... It's one of the Mariana Islands. Wow, that is a lot of people in one hallway. Too much dick for one hallway. Um... Yeah, Guam is a place in the Mariana Islands. It's an it's an island. Uh, it's the I think the bottom most island, though I could be wrong. It's got a rich history. I recommend that you look it up. Finally. You fucking tricked me. That's what the noise was. Oh my god! <laughs> Go away! away <laughs> oh my god what was that I don't like that. Which can? <sighs> Go 
God damn it. Facial scan successful. That's, uh, that's one way to say that you died. So, do you play as, like, Michael in this game? Or, um, or William? That's unclear to me. Because <laughs> their facial scan was only supposed to recognize, like, one person. Or, well, a criminal database, really. I don't really need another call. Anyways, pop it, that's night. I'm currently working on a game. Oh, really? What's it called? Actually, just what is it? Brand battle. What? What's it about? Multiplayer action platform where the brand brand warriors from TikTok fight each other. Brand warriors from TikTok? What the fuck is what the fuck are brand warriors? Fight each other? The Cola Crusader. Sorry, I can't exactly picture that because I don't know what the fuck that is. The Mountain Dew Mandal. I don't get it. Oh, hey. The Paragon of Pep. What are you saying? None of this means anything to me, because none of this makes sense to me. God damn it! I was too busy worrying about whatever the fuck the Paragon of Pepsi is. Basically, we're a cardboard... ...from a certain brand. Okay, that one's dumb. Gonna be real, that sounds really dumb. <laughs> An action platformer. About brand loyalty. It's weird. 
You could make a platformer about anything. This bar. Shut up. You win. Uh, you could make a platform about anything and you make it about brands. Weird. Like, why not make, like, original cardboard entities? Like, just fighters that wear cardboard.
Oh, good. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I did it. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, got a destroyed bonnie head. Night six. I don't get anything for going on a star, but that's cool. Alright. Night six. Okay, these bots are destroyed, so they shouldn't move at all. Unless it's an amalgam. Yeah, they're all destroyed, so. Oh? Spring trap in Fredbear? FNAF 1? Or FNAF 2. What now? What? Well, hello? Okay, that shocked him, but that didn't do anything. Um. Okay, um. Okay. That wasn't that loud, but. Okay. Don't let it recognize you. Okay. What the fuck is that? Is that Fredbear? Is that supposed to be Fredbear? Okay. I like this. They changed it. They switched it up. I like it. It's good. I like this. I like this a lot. And I like the little Toy Bonnie death ornament. That is a terrifying, like, sight to behold. I don't need to hear that. I don't think that did anything. Like, I don't think that does anything. So why do I need to shock? It's a new ability I have. Oh boy. Um. Um. necessarily spring trap i think you're actually just spring bonnie but like something attacked your power supply fight back while it's vulnerable okay what the fuck so i guess i shock the uh when my power is fluctuating that is such a sight to behold huh <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so the shocking mechanic is for when they're sapping my power. That, to me, makes sense.
Oh, so I guess I'm... Okay. What? It's instant. It's fucking instant. As soon as he gets in the vent and he sees me, that's when he gets me. That's insane. It approaches quickly. Seal it out before it, can, before it reaches you. Okay. Okay. I get, I get that now. Um, he like comes through and he gets me through the vent. And like when he gets to the right hallway in a way, that's when I sealed that. And then I don't know what to do with the other guy though. I think I just need to wear a, like my head when he's at a certain. Hey, Fredbear. So there's like three mechanics now in this night. Or three. Yeah, I'm a three mechanics. There's closing the vent, putting on the mask and shocking. I don't think I need to worry about the vent anymore, which is good. In a way, it's good anyway. Okay, so as soon as he gets to his second, like his second stance, when he's like standing like this in the camera, that's when I put the head on. Okay, both of you guys worry me. Hello, Bread Coltock. I don't. Okay, put on the mask. That makes so much sense. As far as I know, Springtrap never left the vents. Oh shit, uh, where are they sucking my nuts from? There. Got it. I still do not know if I can open that vent yet. Okay, I can definitely open it. Oh, okay, I get it now. Yeah, this game is based. Guess I got it right. I think he was just invisible on the camera. Okay, so I guess it's just as soon as he disappears from this camera, that's when I put my head my head up or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shit, there's no building power left. Fuck. Fuck me. 
damn it! Fuck! That is a tough ass night. Watch your building power. I know. I know. When they sap the power, you gotta be really fast because they sap a lot of power. I got far into that night, though. That didn't suck any power, really. Okay. Get fucked, loser. And I'm just gonna keep this, this fucking vent closed, cuz fuck it. Then I can open it. Epic. Okay, that's how you deal with him. So if he's on a camera, and of course you don't want to lose the camera feed, you just shock him. Okay. What the fuck? It saw you. Let it pass through. And I'm supposed to know that that's what it is? God damn it. God damn. I'm gonna get some water. Be right back.
Let's do this. Damn, already. Close one. I'm just curious what time it is. <sighs> kind of hard to hold it. The big ass mug, a shit ton of water in it. It's kind of hard to hold with one hand. Oh, they both moved at the same time. That was kind of cool. I 
That is not fun. I forgot to fucking open that. God damn it. Leave my mask up and hope for the damn best. Please. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Okay. I could hear him about to crawl through the vents, I think. Uh... Okay. Alright, alright. Hasbar Entertainment Storage. That's the desk. That was- that was a good game. Thank you! Thank you, Munchair. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. That was, um, that was pretty tough. Mikael? My, or I'm just gonna say Michael. Michael, you did really good. <laughs> you did really good, I have to say. This was really good. Uh, yeah. This, this was fun. This is a big leap up from your last game. Uh, which is, in a way, the same game, but your last game was a lot worse. Like, this, this was really good. This was pretty original, I'd say. <laughs> well, now we now that we know about the pair, now we know that name's not <laughs> very great. Or that. Ugh. Oh, they took from Steel Wool and and fucking uh, that account on Twitter. Lumix, oh. Took some stuff from the from the mobile game. John Chrome. Phil, nice. I don't know if Wendigoon was bad or not. I can't remember. Can't remember if they were part of if they were part of the pair. <laughs> Extras. Okay, Toy Freddy? Toy Bonnie. Toy Chica, the neck thing really fucks with me. Like, I know I have a, a frickin', a fr a frickin', am I 12? A fucking long neck. I know I have a real, I have a pretty long neck. But like, that's, that's weird. Again, Mango looks pretty much the fucking same, just with a little bit of cracking on the plastic. <laughs> and a lot more arms, actually. I think that's a lot more arms. I can't remember though. And then Balloon Boy, pretty terrifying. The puppet, who looks pretty much the same. Spring Bonnie. Uh, that's pretty cool. And Fredbear. I thought that was Fredbear. Oh, it's got the blood around the mouth. That's cool. Now that's cool. I don't know why they wouldn't have like, cleaned up the blood, but that's cool. Jump scares. Uh, with or without light? In the light. Lights out. In light. Out of light. It's pretty much the same thing. Although the ones without the light are a little bit like laggier on the first go through. Let me turn on the light, and then turn it off the light. Ah, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Go Chica, and then... I never got jump scared by her, because she's really easy. Mangle. Oh, if the temperature gets to the fullest amount, um, then she gets you. Okay. Puppet. That's interesting. Hi! F FNAF Afton 1. <laughs> Hi there. You, uh, you, you kind of arrived a little too late, because I beat the game. Well, I haven't done custom night yet.
Oh, okay. That's what happens if the... Interesting. Dev notes. Oh, that's kind of cool. This is their, um... Uh, the way they went with designing for the, uh... Uh, for all the bots. Toy Bonnie was the character that was first in line for a lot of things in the game's development. He was the first character model made, the first character programmed, and the first character to have a jump scare made. When I first started work on his model, I didn't have a remake of, uh... Of Fazbear Frights, um... Okay. Storage. In mind at all, I was just making the model for fun. However, once I had finished it, the idea became enticing. He serves as the game's unofficial mascot. Most fan games that take place in the FNAF universe use Freddy, which makes sense considering he's the character that both Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and the FNAF series are named after, but I felt like Toy Bonnie was both a more interesting design and more recognizable design than Toy Freddy. It also felt that he worked better with the blue tones of the environment. Interesting. I am fan of FNAF. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, okay. Designing, uh, Chica. Toy Chica was the second character model made for the game, and was probably the one I had the most fun designing. One of the complaints I've seen often with the toy animatronics in FNAF 2 was that they simply weren't scary enough, especially compared to the other fantastic character designs that FNAF 2 had to offer. I actually liked the, the FNAF 2, um, toy designs. They were kind of creepy in their own way. To rectify this, I tried to exaggerate the most unsettling aspects of each toy animatronic to their wit in their withering. I think Toy Chica has the biggest success in this regard. Her crooked smile has uns unsettled many a playtester. During playtesting, she was the character that got uh, people killed most frequently. Really? Really? Because she would arrive at the office vent and stubbornly refuse to leave, sometimes for the entire night. Oh, I see. Direct by this, her AI was adjusted to make this happen much less often, and I'll miss watching playtesters panic as she kept training more of their power. And then Toy Freddy? Okay. This one pretty much seems like it was already done by the time. It, it just required just a tiny bit of, of editing. Toy Freddy was the third character model made for the game and presented the greatest design challenge for me. I'd like to use this note to thank Odium, mentioned in the game's credits as creative assistance. He was a big help in, in redesigning each character model and was the one responsible for the red scribble sketches as on a few pages. Originally, Toy Freddy left instantly when the flashlight shined on him. PlayStation felt that made him too easy to deal with. So this mechanic has changed. That's good. I love the toy Chica in main game. Yeah. I like her for definitely specific reasons. Originally, Toy Freddy was... Oh, yeah. Toy Freddy's leaving animation was created by Hayes, who was mentioned in the credits for additional animation. He asked me if he could create an animation for the game and did a fantastic job. I thanked him with a hidden Easter egg that can be accessed during any night. Okay. And then Mangle. I'm pretty sure it didn't take much to make Mangle fucked up. You just had to add more hands and crack the plastic. Mangle was the fourth character model created, being the final model of the, fain, the final model of the main four. Surprisingly, the design process for her came the most naturally to me. How do you wither a character that was already almost entirely exposed endoskeleton? Simple. You don't take you don't take away. You give. Mangle's rig has 127 individual joints. She was an absolute blast to pose for her camera renders. I had a self-imposed challenge of every pose being done from scratch, to keep any render feeling nice and tang- and mangly. Oh, to keep each render- uh, render feeling nice and mangly. Mangle is my favorite character from FNAF 2, and I wanted to make sure she had a unique and memorable mechanic for this game. The sacrificing of extra endo parts to jam the vent- the vent fans was an idea I was really happy with, and, and was kept hidden from playtesters until they tried the game for themselves. Their panic upon hearing the first fan go down told me everything I needed to know. I, I love ship Foxy X Mangle. Okay. How old are you, man? You should not be here if you're, like, under the age of 18. And honestly, I didn't care much about, about uh, Balloon Boy when I first started development. He was a late addition, however, I do not regret adding him to the game in the slightest. Almost without fail, the first hello would call playtesters to swear at me, and that alone made his addition to the game worth it. That's, that's actually quite funny. Uh, 21. Okay. Right, and then, of course, him. Another late addition, but one that made all too much sense, the puppet was the last character programmed into Main Night gameplay. Though its model was originally planned to be tattered and torn, I felt this was a bit excessive. I ended up taking a less is more strategy with its design, going with a simple cracked mask. Hello, Lawn Wolf 201 I'm getting a lot of first time chatters here. Um, sorry to tell you, but I've already beaten the game besides Custom Night. I'll get into Custom Night in a second. I'm just reading through all the, uh, the dev notes. 
The puppet went under more AI changes and testing than any other character, I'll admit initially the puppet was a bit of a pushover. It could only appear in cams 5 and 7, and went away instantly when looked at. Following tester feedback, this was changed twice. First, the puppet was changed to appear on all ground level cameras, and then changed again to take a few seconds to leave. Feedback towards these changes was overwhelmingly positive. That's good. And then here's uh, Spring Bonnie, which uh, was just... I, I, I mean, I can tell that the head was just... Um, a spring trap. Like, it's it's really a spring trap head. Spring Bonnie was created years after the other character models, only being made once the game resumed development after an extended hiatus. I remember that extended hiatus. <laughs> Unlike the other characters, which were textured in Blender, tex uh, textured in Blender texture paint, Spring Bonnie's texture was made using Substance Painter, and would later be used for a Fredbear. Spring Bonnie's mask is slightly distorted to give the appearance of a crooked smile from certain angles. Designing him was challenging, as I had to make sure play players wouldn't mistake him for Springtrap, and also recognized that this wasn't the suit that became Springtrap. His disjointed arm, a feature Springtrap doesn't have, was part of the solution to this issue. And then, this this design was honestly really good. I like the design of Fredbear. Like, that was a good, that was good. Fredbear was the final character model created for the game. Though I had initially planned for Fredbear to be much more withered, I ended up keeping him mostly whole. Removing sections of limbs made him feel too weak to be a threat. The intimidation that many players felt when he when they first saw Nightmare Fredbear in FNAF 4 is something I wanted to repl replicate. Ah, I cannot speak today. Originally, Fredbear would sneak into the player's office from Camp 7 and fortunately pull down the player's monitor while it was up. This functioned similar, similarly to the Wither and animatronics from FNAF 2, but the player had only had a short amount of time to put on the mask. However, this was both jarring and didn't mesh well with existing gameplay, so the mechanic was changed. The development of this game has been quite the journey, almost three years from start to finish. While much of that time was not an active development, it still feels nice to get the skeleton out of my closet. Hopefully it was worth the wait. I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing FNAF-wise now that the game is done. The game was the culmination of all the inspirations, talents, and passions I had picked up over the years of being in the community. While I'm much less involved with the community now, this game has always been intended as my special thanks to the FNAF as whole. I'm not sure what the future holds, but regardless of what I do next, I hope you guys will be with me for it. Thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. Until we meet again, Michael. My favorite Withered uh, FNAF 2 is Withered Bonnie. Uh, I actually like Withered Freddy the most, just because I think he's a lot more intimidating. Uh, his look is a lot more intimidating to me. He reminds me a lot of um, of this, uh, which I really, enjo uh, really enjoyed the, uh, the model, but I do actually like uh, FNAF 2 Withered Freddy the most. He's one of my fit. He's actually my favorite uh, Freddy design. Okay, and that's it. Anyways, custom night. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, you could have all of these, including these two fuckers in the game. No way could I do that. The, must sh the show must go on. Uh, okay. Creepy crawlies. So all the fuckers that go in the vent, I guess? Yeah, all the fuckers that go through vents. Uh, power struggle, which is... Uh, I don't know why. Uh, follow me, which is... Okay, that's interesting. It's the puppet, Spring Bonnie, and Fredbear. Uh, this would just be a, um... Like a, like an addition to the last night. Wither Chica has to be my favorite. Uh, I think Wither Chica was pretty good, but I, I, th I, I think mine, uh... My favorite was either, uh, Withered, uh, Toy Bonnie or, or Fredbear. They're both really good, though, and I do think Wither Chica is a really good one, too, just because I think the neck... Part of it made it really creepy to me. Yeah. Alright, uh, follow me. Cupcake challenge, which is everything that's five. And then Golden Freddy. I'm gonna try Golden Freddy for just, like, a little bit. <laughs> Although I think I'm gonna instantly die. This will be fun. But good thing the cameras don't fucking work, I guess. Yeah, there we go. There you are. Okay. Fuck. This is this is fucking.
Oh, wait, fuck. Uh, I don't know which cam it. Fuck, man. Oh, shit. Okay, wow, that was way too much. That was crazy. I, I am sure that I could possibly do it if I trained the shit out of, uh, of this game, like, enough. If I had, like, played a shit ton of this game. I don't think I can do that, but I think I can do a cupcake challenge, which is just everything on five. Yeah, I think I can do cup cupcake challenge. I'll try, I'll try. I mean, it's basically the normal night, but then there's also, like, the two others that are there. Like, it's night five, it's like night five and night six mixed. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, like the other one didn't even spawn yet. Or Fredbear didn't even spawn yet. This will be way easier. I'm sure their AIs on night one are like, or uh, on night six are like really, are like on like 10 or 15 or some shit like that. But they kind of need to be because, um, they're the only two of the night. Whether uh, in FNAF 2, same scrap in FNAF uh, most beat up. What? Sorry, you, you confused me. What? Withered in FNAF 2, same as scrap in FNAF 6, most beat up? Do you mean like they're the most like withered of all? Which I mean, technically true. Yeah. Oh, I like how they, uh, they changed Bonnie to, uh, to be moved a little bit because Obviously. Hi. You'll have to, like, port down whatever you mean by that, like, to explain it a bit better, because I don't understand what you said. Where'd Bonnie go? Where'd Sheik go? Okay, that's where they went. All right. Uh, I think I got him instantly because he went onto the camera I was on. Motherfucker. I didn't even realize you got that far. You're getting into the vent. Fuck. What? How? Fuck. <laughs> How did the power go out that fast? Did something drain it? I'm very confused. What? Fucking <laughs> Rip, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Apparently I'm scaring something away. This is not good. I think Bengal is withered main game without OG crew. What? I think Mangle is withered main game without OG crew. Huh? Oh, there's Toy Chica. She's gonna kill me. I think Mangle is withered. Main games. Yeah, Mangle is withered in the main game. Okay. Something was draining your power. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't- I don't either. I don't know why that made me jump. I don't know why that made me jump at all. Watch your temperature. The power was out. I can't watch my temperature when the power's out. <sighs> okay, that was... I'll try follow me. I don't even know what was draining the power. That was crazy. Hey, boys. Uh, 
I hate BB in main game. Yeah. You say a lot of like... Stuff without explaining any of it. Like I'll ask you for clarification, you just won't explain it. Hello. Okay. Oh. This night isn't that bad, actually. And it makes me wonder if they're just naturally on twenty anyway, like in the in the in night six, because. My God, what? Foxy, FNAF 1, same withered Foxy. No, he's not the same, if that's what you mean. But I don't actually know what you mean. Because every time you say something, you don't explain what you mean. If I ask you what you mean. <laughs> yeah, the FNAF 1 Foxy is not the same as the FNAF 2 Foxy. If, if that's what you're asking, but I don't know what you're asking. <laughs> I forgot to check for it. Yes, mean. Okay. Kind of depends on what you believe in the lore. Well, okay. Because, in a way, I guess you could say FNAF 1 is the same as, is, is, uh, FNAF 2 is the same as FNAF 2 Foxy, uh, because at the end of FNAF 2, which by the way, they take place in different time periods, but FNAF, uh, FNAF 2 takes place before FNAF 1, and at the end of, of, uh, sorry, uh, at the end of FNAF 2, they say that they're scrapping the bots. Uh, in the end of FNAF 2, um, they say they're going to reuse the bots uh, for uh, the new location, which I assume is going is FNAF 1. Uh, so I I guess they're the same bot. If you really stretch your imagination, but no, FNAF 1 Foxy doesn't turn in FNAF, into FNAF 2 Foxy. Did I, I forgot to open that.
Oh, I win. That was easy. <laughs> I like the music. Um, yeah, that was pretty easy. All right. Now, does it actually give me a star? Oh, it gives me a star next to it. Okay. I'm sure beating Golden Freddy mode would give me another star, or it could even give me a new cutscene. I don't think I have that in me to like keep going over and over and trying to get it. Uh, at least right now, maybe um, maybe in a future stream I'll do that, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. FNAF 2 in 1987 in FNAF timeline after FNAF 1. No, wait, okay. FNAF 1 doesn't have a time date. Let me look it up. 6 a.m. already, wow, yeah, I know. I actually didn't have my browser open. God damn it. All right. No, not when it came out. Uh, when did FNAF 1 take place? Proof FNAF 1 takes place in 1992. What? Oh. Guy, I can't believe I didn't know this until now. FNAF 1 can't take place in 1993 because the calendar doesn't match up. The minimum wage of, of for nine. April 1991 Octo to October 1995 is $4.25, and Mike earned $4 per uh, per an hour, not including tax, since $120 for the five days of six hours he worked, 120 divided by 30, is four. But paychecks do not include the income tax that is taken out before the final check, and the average income tax, ti uh, tax times would be like 30% averagely, and stuff making the uh, and stuff making the real hourly wage for Mike about four dollars and fifty cents, so lower than four four dollars and seventy five cents in nineteen ninety six anyway. So why not nineteen ninety three? Uh, we know uh, night shift workers start their week on Saturday, on Sunday, since it's the first day of the week, and it is proven by the fact that you start on a Sunday in FNAF two. Friday, Friday is night six, and Thursday is night five, so Sunday is night si uh, Sunday is night six. You mean I think they mean night one. The paychecks for FNAF 1 has November 12 on cust uh, uh, November 12 on night 5, Thursday, and no November 13 on night 6, Friday, Saturday. Okay, okay. But look at the 1993 calendar. Thursday is the 11th, uh, meaning cannot be the year. The only year that fits the date with Thursday on the 12th and Friday on the 13th from 1991 to 1995 is 1992. I went back to MatPat's video, and MatPat only gassed 1993 because this is when his theory about the real-life Chuck E. Cheese incident happened. He mentioned nothing of real-life calendars that are actually 1993. This person put in way more effort than fucking MatPat did. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I guess FNAF 1 takes place in 1992 by, by this person's proof, which, by the way, that's pretty, pretty solid, solid proof. I don't know why this is a Steam community post in the Final Fantasy 4, but, oh well. Uh, anyway, so... FNAF 1 takes place in, uh, why is that not full screen? Oh, that's weird. Uh, FNAF 1 takes place in 1992, or 3, or whatever he said. Uh, and then, uh, FNAF 2 takes place in 1987. So, FNAF 2 is before FNAF 1. I, it makes sense anyway. Uh, it just makes sense, more or less, that FNAF 1 would take place after FNAF 2. Uh... And they even say they're going to reuse the bots for the next place. Uh, but you don't actually see, like, any uh, FNAF, like, two or one styled animatronics un uh, up until... Ever again, actually. They don't ever use, uh, like, tw uh, like Bonnie, uh, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy in those colors in any other games besides two and one and two. And I guess also... Ultimate, or, uh, um, not Ultimate Custom, uh, Pizzeria Simulator, but that's, like, a whole different can of worms. Uh, yeah. So, FNAF 1, the FNAF 2 bots got reused into the FNAF 1 bots, and then FNAF 1 bots, uh, get dismantled because the FNAF 3 minigames, uh, depicts William going back to the FNAF 1 location and destroying the bots, and then he gets put into a suit, and then, uh, he gets boarded up into the back room, and then they find him, and then FNAF 3 happens, and then, uh, uh, FNAF 4 happens, like, all the way, uh, way back before any of this shit. It happens before FNAF, uh, FNAF 2, 
because that's when uh, the Fredbear bots were, and that was before FNAF 2. Uh, and the Wither and animatronics from FNAF 2 are speculated to be from the Fredbear's location, but it's not confirmed. Uh, it might have been a different location that those were from. Um, but, and then uh, after FNAF 3 would be, I guess, I think sister location would be after FNAF 3. Or it could happen at the same time as FNAF, no, no, no. No, I think sister location happens before FNAF 3 because, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Actually, sister location could happen way back in the past because he's trying to find his sister and then he becomes, like, haunted. Uh, or, no, no, it could happen afterwards. It could totally happen afterwards that he goes back into the location. Uh, because he gets scooped in the end and gets turned in, uh, and then Ennard goes inside of him, which is, like, total uh, sci-fi science fiction. Then that would make FNAF 3, where the Phantom animatronics are the reused versions of FNAF 2 animatronics. Yeah, so FNAF, the FNAF, um, uh, I, I'll, I think the FNAF, uh, the Phantom animatronics, uh, are all the animatronics that correlate to stuff in the place, like, uh, like you see, uh, like you can find stuff like Chica's head from FNAF 1 is a, like a lantern in the place, um, Toy Bonnie, or Toy Bonnie's not, sorry, um, Foxy from Foxy's hook in the toy box, uh, Mangle from Mangle's head in the toy box, uh, Toy Freddy, I'm not 100% sure about that one, I think it's, uh, I think there's the microphone or something, or, Toy Freddy's in there somewhere, I think, uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 Phantom Freddy is the FNAF 2 Freddy, and I think he somehow is in the location somewhere. I can't remember, though. Uh, Mike is, aka Mike Afton, work in FNAF 1. Yeah, Mike works through the entire series. I, you play as Mike through mostly all of the games. I think Mike, uh, Mike is definitely in FNAF 1. Uh, so I think, um, I think... Uh, between FNAF 2 and 1 is when Sister Location happens because he, uh, because then he starts going to look for his, his father and I think in one of the custom nights for FNAF, uh, or that was Ultimate Custom Night that he said that he was gonna go find. Or was it? No, no, in the ending of one of the custom nights in Sister Location, um, it, Michael's talking, uh, uh, or like giving a transmission to, uh, William, uh, and he's saying he's gonna go find him or he's gonna find him, uh, and that's, uh, and, yeah, so, after FNAF 3, I don't know what happens, uh, but I'm pretty sure Pizzeria Simulator is somewhere after FNAF 3, and that's when William dies, uh, in the fire, and then Security Breach happens after, um, uh, after, uh, that, because you can find the, uh, uh, the building of the uh, pizzeria simulator underneath the pizza plex, which, by the way, is so fucking weird that they would build on top of a sinkhole. Like, that is such a fucking hazard. Um, either way, yeah, that comes afterwards. Help Wanted is, like, somewhere in between that shit. I don't know where. It's, it's, it's probably in between pizzeria simulator and, um, simulator and, um, and security breach just because Vanny. Uh, works at the software company. So it would be FNAF 4 uh, to start everything off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So FNAF 4 is like the first game in like the lineage. But um, yeah, because that takes place before FNAF 2 when there's the um, uh, Fred Bear and, and Spring Bonnie. Uh, but that also means that the uh, that the FNAF 2 location definitely, uh, the Withered animatronics probably come from the, f from the, um, Fred Bears because in the kid's nightmare he has nightmares about uh he has nightmares about like the regular FNAF animatronics so those are probably the withered animatronics that he has imagined in his head uh or unwithered I guess that he has imagined in his head and I don't know if it's a coma or if it's just him dreaming in between each day uh I think it's a coma just because of the stuff in the background suggesting that the that this is like the medic or either a medically induced coma or just a regular coma that he goes through um uh after the bite after the bite uh my theory mike afton's soul is glamrock freddy after fnaf 6 fire i don't know about that one i don't i don't, I don't think that makes sense 
I don't think it makes sense. Also, I don't think a uh, Mike. Okay, I know. Uh, I know he probably is. That probably is Mike in in FNAF in uh, Pizzeria Simulator. But I don't think Mike died because in um, uh, in Pizzeria Simulator, the uh, Henry who's talking to you uh, through the uh, you know the fucking uh, meme, meme of like uh, end transmission. Uh, that part in FNAF 6 when you uh, get to like night 5 and all the all the animatronics are there um he um he says um and for the person working there you probably didn't want this or the, uh, you probably got you, this job wasn't meant for you like this wasn't the job meant for you but somehow I feel like you don't want to you don't want to leave or uh, you don't want anything else it could happen because game theory Matt Pat Matt Pat did an entire video on the on the lower FNAF security breach and he had some pretty solid evidence but it's still very confusing based off of what he's saying. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't agree with Matt Pat on most of his theories because he um he doesn't he's like um he's like grasping at straws. Like didn't he also say that the cry, uh, that the uh that Gregory from uh, security breach is the same as the crying child just because they wear the same clothing? I mean, it it doesn't make any sense at all. Um I guess the only sense I can make of that is that he doesn't have any parents, he's homeless, um, and that's it. That That's the only sense I can make of that. But he could just be a homeless kid. <laughs> or he just doesn't know his way home. I don't know. Uh, FNAF security breach is a mess. But Matt Pat, I don't think, knows what he's saying at all. Uh, yeah, I think it's FNAF 4, FNAF 2, FNAF 1, FNAF... Uh, er, okay. FNAF 4, FNAF 2, um, Sister Location, FNAF 1, uh, FNAF 3, uh, somewhere in between there might be another game that I'm forgetting in, off the top of my head, uh, but then there's, um, Pizzeria Simulator, and then Help Wanted, and then Security Breach. That's just the most logical way of thinking that just makes sense to me. I, um, I would love to make, like, a whole document just, like, on, like, why I think each game goes in, in what spot and, like, the whole, like, not even just lore, just the timeline of FNAF, because, like, the t FNAF's timeline is all over the place. Uh, the newest three, uh, three games, I'd say, uh, or two, I guess, um, Help Wanted and Security Breach are the most weird lore-wise, um, they're weird. <laughs> I uh, I don't know if Steel Wool knows exactly how to continue the lore, but I think they're trying to make like this new chapter because I think FNAF has chapters to it. Uh, FNAF uh, one, two, and three are its own like chapter uh, about like the actual like robots uh, and going and how they're like uh, their journey to going on to the afterlife. Uh, and then four to uh, four to four security breach. Er, not secure. Fuck. Uh, for Sister Location and Pizzeria Simulator are their own chapter about the um, about the Afton family, and in a way also Henry's family, but mainly the Afton family and their problems. Um, and then uh, the newest ones, Help One and Security Breach, are their own new chapter of the story, and they're like a new like modern day uh, port of the of the whole thing. Glitchtrap, same person as William. I don't think that's true. I think Gl uh, Glitchtrap is a um. Uh, is a copy of uh, William's mind in uh, in a computer, basically. So I don't know at what point it happened, but Glitch Trap is like a um, like a a copy of of uh, William's soul into a computer. Uh, and then actual like Burn Trap, as they call him, is different. He's the one that's in. Uh, he, or not different, he's William. Like, he's the original William, because for some reason they needed to bring him back for the, for the final boss fight, uh, of, of, uh, Security Breach, but, um, William and Glitchtrap, I think, are two different people. Although, technically, you could argue that they're the same person because they're both the same, per mentally, like, they're the same person. But, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's true. I think, um, science has proven that after a copy of someone's brain, they can, they can become different people uh, just based off of life experience. Uh, but, yeah. 
I'm waiting to see if anyone says anything in the chat. I think whoever, uh, not whoever, I think Michael, uh, or the Michael, the, is it, is it Michael? M-I-K-E-L? Is that Michael or is it Mikael or something like that? I think it's Michael. So game my the Michael. They made a great game here. Fazbear Entertainment Storage. Like this music that's been going on in the background has been awesome. It's like some sick ass beat going on in the background. That is awesome. But yeah, this was a great game. I had fun. And I had fun streaming too. It's been, uh, oh my God, it's almost two hours that I've been streaming now. Awesome. <laughs> uh, one hour, 59 minutes and 41 seconds. Almost two hours. But I think I'm gonna cu call it here. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and this has been pretty fun. But uh, yeah, I, th I think the stream is best ended here. So thank you all, all so much for watching. Uh, and as always, I'm out. You're in. And two hour mark.